Hey everyone, my name is Brogan and I love traveling. Over the last few years, I've gone on a huge variety of trips all over the world with my fiance Benji and a big important part of traveling is good luggage. With the world opening back up again, I intend on traveling more frequently and recently invested in the bigger carry-on and the medium case from Away. This definitely was an investment and I wanted to give you a detailed review of the cases. So in this video, I'm gonna show you an unboxing and my first impressions, but stay tuned until the end for my final opinion after using the cases on their first trip recently. If you enjoy the video, hit subscribe and don't miss my pack with me videos to see how I organize everything inside the cases too. Thanks for watching. If you know me even a little bit and you've seen any of my previous travel videos, you'll know I love packing. I love traveling. I love luggage. I love bags. Suitcases are just something I have always really loved but i've never ever invested a lot of money into one i have been wanting to try away suitcases for so long and i went to mallorca at the end of november and one of the girls on the trip had an away case we were at the airport in london and she was picking it up took it off the um conveyor belt she was like i'm so glad i invested in good luggage because this has been the best suitcase i've ever had and i was like oh that's an away case as soon as you see one and you know it it's a really recognized brand and they don't sell them anywhere other than their website I believe so once you know you know <laughs> and I am gonna say this before I begin that this is expensive luggage this is the kind of thing you do invest in but there are loads and loads of perks to it and uh, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about what I've invested in and why I think it's amazing however I was sort of on the fence about it for ages and then my mum bought me the pink medium case for Christmas as my Christmas gift which was super generous, it was a huge surprise, I was so overwhelmed, she also bought me the packing cubes so we'll have a little look at those towards the end and I was just so blown away, it was such an incredible gift so thank you mum. Um, so I have opened this one, uh, just taken it out of the box but I haven't like looked at it properly but I took it out, had a look and I was like oh my gosh this is amazing so I decided to treat Benji to exactly the same. So we're gonna have a little look, unbox that one and then whilst I was um, buying his you actually get a discount if you buy more than one case so I think I got £45 off. These cases are like I said still expensive. Hello editing me just quickly interrupting because I explained the prices and I double checked and they've since gone up so I didn't give you correct information so at the time of recording this in April 2022 I actually originally paid £285 for the medium and £255 for the big carry-on. I got a set discount so if you buy two pieces of luggage you get you used to get £45 off. Now it looks like you get £50 off but the prices have gone up quite a lot so the medium is now 315 and the bigger carry-on is now 285. I got the medium for the same price as what the bigger carry-on is now so yeah I just thought I'd let you know because that is a big jump and I was so confused but there we go. This is actually the bigger carry-on little you know luggage so it matches so we've gone pink for me and then we've got like a blue color for Benj but basically you want to see what they look like so we're going to get straight into it so I've got the medium and I want to see how I pack it if it's something I love and I feel I like need slightly bigger then I can always go bigger this obviously has loads of features but which we'll go into but in case you're interested it's four and a half kilograms in weight and has a uh, capacity of 68.8 liters um, and then you've got obviously all the measurements of it. It also has a hidden laundry bag, so we'll take a look at that. 360 spinner wheels. And the best thing about Away is actually their warranty and return policy. So if for whatever reason you don't like it, it's not for you, you can return it anytime within the first 100 days of purchase. And the suitcases are guaranteed by a lifetime uh, warranty that covers any damage to the shell, wheels, handles, zippers, and many other functional elements, which I just think is amazing. I haven't heard of anyone needing to like replace their luggage, but obviously luggage does get chucked around and I am expecting it to get dense and, and get 
covered in marks and things. That's what suitcase does. Do you know what I mean? That's what suitcase does. That's what luggage does. On the box, it says one for the road and it's got the lovely big branding and it came like this. So the suitcase is just in the box. And I will say, obviously do keep your boxes because if you do want to return it in that hundred days, then this is like the perfect size box. But it actually says now the world is open that you can go anywhere, see everything, go off the grid, out of your comfort zone or back to your roots. We'll be with you every step of the way. So get out there and stay open, which is really nice because Obviously I haven't had the need for new luggage over the last two years, but the goal is to hopefully travel a lot in 2022 and beyond. So let's get it out. The fact it comes in its own little bag is just lovely. Because also when I put it in the loft and store it when I'm not traveling, I can keep it in this nice bag. I am so excited guys. So I wanted the pink because black is so common on the conveyor belt at the airport. So I absolutely love the color. It's really beautiful in person. You've got the nice little away logo there, your four spinny wheels, which feel really nice. Apparently they are made by, I think it's a Japanese company. Also externally, you've got two handles, top and side. I think it would also be kind of cool if there was one on the bottom too, because sometimes I do feel the need to like pick the case up like this, but most of the time you would just obviously take it off like that, I guess, or when you're putting it onto the scales when you get it checked in. Um, and then on the very top here, you can see there it is its own lock combination. They mark this as TSA approved if you're like in the US. The TSA are able to apparently still use a tool to get into the case if they have to check it so they won't break the lock. A luggage lock is one of those things I always seem to like misplace or forget and I just love that this is now incorporated into my case. Then you've got the handle which comes out really nice. On first impressions everything just feels really lovely like the material this just feels dreamy and it does feel pretty light which is obviously what we're going for so let's get inside the case shall we? looking at it now i do think that this is a good one week holiday case however i think the large would be better for me if i was doing like a ski holiday it is a good size and I'm wondering if the large will be too big though. I do feel like I'm gonna end up investing in the large as well. So on the left here, we've got a nice mesh, big open pocket. And there's a little tab there. And obviously that unzips, so I assume, but I'm not gonna bother with that. So that is just how you see it. And then on this side, as you can see, has got this own little pouch here, which I've never seen in another suitcase before. And this gives you the ability to compress your clothes down. It's got a zip here, so you've got all of this storage space. And inside here, we have, oh, a little luggage tag. It's a really nice leather luggage case tag thing. We've got this little passport book, which is so cute, that talks a little bit more about your luggage and getting to know your bag, how to use the lock as we know. And then they also provide you with this little pouch, which as you can see is a white cloth and you use this to get off dirty marks or scuffs on the case, which is really nice. So we've got that and then we have this compression thing. So that lifts up and over the other side. So you can pack everything in and then basically fold it back over. And let's say you you fill up like this, then you would put the clips back together and then pull it tight. But obviously I will show you that in a packing video um, as and when we actually pack. Today was just uh, showing you around the case. So that is everything. And then obviously, like I said before, in this little pouch here, we've got a laundry bag that folds out like so. So this is really handy. You can actually unpop that as well. I will definitely be using that because I normally take my own laundry bag but that's just so nice the way it's designed and really thought out so this is the case i think this suitcase is honestly going to be perfect for one week holidays any sort of short trips i do i'm planning on going to the czech republic this year it's going to be perfect for that any uk staycations as well it'd be great for I think I might struggle if I have to do uh, skiing holidays just because I have such bulky big clothes but for the majority of my like one week holidays especially in the sunshine where I have lighter 
thinner clothes it's going to be perfect let's open the small one too and talk about that and then we'll open the version of benji so we can see the color difference um but it just is such a dream i know it's very expensive and i'm very lucky that obviously my mum bought me mine and then i bought benji one for him um just because i know that he's going to want his own i actually broke his a few years ago we do actually have slightly bigger Disney suitcases like matching Mickey and Minnie which we'll, we'll probably end up taking to Florida but these are great for all the other trips that we do um I just really really love it and I can't wait to pack with it so let's get my hand luggage little case open now and see how that is so when I was deciding on the carry-on I wanted to get I had to have a think about what I needed and wanted it for because the carry-on the normal one is slightly smaller and the bigger carry-on obviously still fits on quite a lot of airlines but you may struggle on some of the smaller airlines and for me I only ever need a suitcase to carry on with if I'm doing long haul or I'm going on a big trip where I'm carrying a lot of tech and I have to take like a drone and lots of cameras and stuff so that's when I'd probably want something a bit bigger also obviously it does double up as extra space so if I can't fit everything in my main suitcase then I can at least take some things as hand luggage which honestly is actually a pretty sensible idea if you can shove in some clothes and outfits shoes um, and everything just in case you never know if your luggage get lost although little tip I've got an air tag, Apple air tag that I'm going to stick inside there now so I can track my suitcase, which is genius. So this one also has all the same sort of features in terms of the 360 spinner wheels. It's also got a hidden laundry bag in this bigger one and it does meet the airline requirements for most major airlines. So for me, I looked at Virgin, British Airways and we're going to be flying Emirates. It weighs 3.4 kilograms and it has a capacity of 47.9 litres. So it is actually... Um, pretty decent size. The other thing that it's perfect for for me is actually my trips to London. I needed a suitcase that wasn't as big as the medium one that I can take for like two or three nights to London and this is perfect for that. As I said, I haven't opened this up yet so I thought you may want to unbox it with me and we will see. It's got the same message inside. I'm so excited. I can't believe I've got matching little and bigger ones. Oh my gosh, this is just a traveler's dream. Some girls want designer handbags and shoes. Others want luxury suitcases. <laughs> so here we are, it's just a small version basically. Um, we still have the luggage lock system. So this just pops out, love it. Should be exactly the same, just smaller, that's it. Still got the compression thing going on here, which is just so ideal. And then inside, oh, we've got a little, oh yes, I forgot. How could I forget? It's got another luggage tag, which is really nice. So for an extra 20 pound, you get the chance to add on a portable phone charger. And so we've got this little case. It looks like this. This is nice. I can use this little pouch. Um, and we've got the sponge again we've got the same little booklet and then we have the oh wow it's got a um, variety of different adapters so if you pull out the handle in here you can see is the portable charger which is absolutely genius now obviously when you're going through security you will need to make sure you pop that out and put it in a, a little bin to go through the scanners because it is a battery however i just thought this was so perfect especially when i'm in london i'm on the tube i'm on a train i can just plug my phone into here it pops in and it's super neat for the sake of 20 pound i was like yes that is going to come in so handy and just pop straight back out so it does ha actually have a little bit of char charge and when I read reviews lots of people said that it's actually a really decent portable charger which is what I need. I've come downstairs, it's very echoey down here so we've got no furniture here right now but got a lot of space. I thought we'd try and just roll them and see what they're like on first impressions. Oh my gosh, that is just effortless, like absolutely effortless. And then let's try and roll them together side by side. So let's say I've got my phone and I'm vlogging. Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell you how happy this makes me. <laughs> oh my God, it's the dream. Oh. Just glad in my suitcase. 
pieces. So before we quickly move on to have a little look at the colour of Benji's suitcase, I wanted to show you the packing cubes. Again, these were a lovely gift for Christmas from my mum and they are the insider packing cubes, a set of four. These are £45, they're definitely the most expensive I've seen on the market really and I'm really excited to pack with them, especially when it all just matches lovely and can fit inside. The packing cubes have like a mesh front and then they're zipped and they're not compression packing cubes, but they are really well thought out. So you could use that one for so many different things. So they're all different sizes. We've got a longer one, this sort of small, like a medium one obviously and then a large the large one isn't actually that deep but it does look like you could probably fit quite a decent amount in there so i'll be packing with these so like i said keep an eye out for my packing video we'll see how i get on with these it may be that i use these plus a variety of some that i already own but i just love the fact they match and they feel really nice they're really light as well which is what you want for a packing cube and they feel like they could be washed easily i should add that they obviously sell the packing cubes in a variety of colors as well you've got the blush gray blue black navy i asked benji which color he wanted anything but black because i do really feel strongly that black is just what well, everyone has black so you can never find it quickly um on the conveyor belt so i just wanted to have a look at the color of his he's gonna absolutely love this so here is benji's and yeah this color is really really nice it looks a lot nicer in person i will say it's like a gray blue isn't it it's really nice so that's how they look together the blue and the pink really really nice oh i can't wait to pack now so i think that's everything to show you on first impressions i absolutely love them the quality feels amazing really like all those little tiny details um and really what it comes down to is putting it to the test and actually packing it and using it for a full trip it is almost two months later since you saw the first impressions the clips you just watched of unboxing the suitcases and i've since been on one trip to dubai and i'm about to pack again for our next trip we're going on a cruise to norway so the cases are well and truly getting their use already and i just thought i'd talk you through my opinion now i've gone on a trip with both the bigger carry-on case and the medium case and what it was like basically long and short i absolutely love them i really really felt confident putting so much in the case and it being able to shut really smooth you know some cases you really do have to like sit on them and you're just like anxiously hoping that the zip doesn't break you don't get that feeling with this the quality is so good you really are paying for a premium suitcase like it is very good quality and what was so interesting is coming home it definitely had a few black scuffs on it naturally it came with one of these little magic erasers Benji's just cleaning it off for me oh no that's stuff's gone already look it's going yeah look at that good as new it really comes off doesn't it yeah it's good how's your blue one is it as scuffed as mine or not because of the colour because of the colour because it's the same colour as the scuffs isn't it that's just dirt that's just that's it with the little magic eraser we managed to get most of the scuffs out like you couldn't tell that this has gone all the way to Dubai and back. So that is what the big case looks like. I mean, yeah, it's got a few little marks like you can see on the bottom near the wheel there, there's like a little blue mark. If I scrubbed a bit harder, I could probably get it out. It's not perfect, but does it need to be? No, it's a suitcase at the end of the day. It was a great size. I underestimated actually how much I could fit in there. I ended up having to pack like th in three hours, basically. Um, it's a long story. We didn't think we'd be going on the trip. And then the day before we got the all clear to go and fly. And so, I didn't pack very strategically. I wasn't very savvy. I'm always an overpacker anyway, but I really did not do a good job for Dubai. And yeah, I just wanted to put everything in because I was panicking. I wasn't, you know, thinking too heavily about it. And even then, I still managed to fit everything in. Having the hand luggage was very helpful. Um, had no problems with it at the airport or with the airline, with Emirates. 
there we go <laughs> it fitted absolutely fine in the overhead compartment i was a bit worried because it actually does look quite big but no it fitted fine and both of them being able to like squish down your clothes was just so great honestly I really think they're great. My mum has just invested in antler luggage. So I'm gonna show you what hers looks like here. Really lovely sort of sage green color. It looks so identical to Away and I'm sure the quality is very similar. For me, I really do love the warranty you get with Away. If I have any problems, if anything breaks, they will fix it and return it and whatever, replace it if need be. I really love the lock, luggage lock system and I'm just excited to try and pack again. This time I'm going to Norway, it's gonna be freezing. So I'm gonna be packing a lot of thicker clothes. So we're talking jumpers and lots of thick uh, layers and trainers and I don't have to fly so I still have a weight allowance on it like I think it's 23 kilograms with a cruise however I do um, need to pack fairly well and I'm hoping this case will be perfect so if you're interested and you want to see me pack the case I will have a pack me video later this week if you're watching when it goes up there'll be a packing for Norway and if you're watching this in the future and you've stumbled across my channel I'll leave that linked for you in the cards and in the description um, but yeah yeah, really overall loving it. I think it was a great case and Benji loves his equally as much. Love my little hand luggage one too. I have no complaints. I have nothing bad to say. The only thing, the only thing is that there were a couple of other people that had the same case. So when you pass anybody with the same case, away case in, an, in the airport, there were other women with exactly the same color, like pink that would pass me and we'd like nod at each other like, good choice. Like, and there was another one, exactly the same, same size and color that came off the conveyor belt from the same airline that we flew out on the same route whatever so I thought it was mine at first so I did have to double check so I do feel like I have a cricket machine that can like do labels and I'm considering like sticking something on it so that I know it's mine like maybe is my name a bit tacky I don't know but like having something on it so I know that it's mine obviously it's popular because there were other people with the same suitcase. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll have a link to away below. I will also share my packing with you for Norway very soon. Um, but let me know if you're interested in this. Are you going to invest? Is it something that you have your eye on? I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you again very soon. Bye.